Hey guys, if you are into cryptocurrency and virtual digital assets, listen up. The government introduced new rules for TDS on cryptocurrencies. From July 1st, 2022, if you transfer a VDA worth more than INI 10,000 in a financial year, 1% of that will be deducted as TDS. And that's not all. Under Section 115 BBH, there's also a new tax of 30% on VDAs. And sorry traders, you can't claim any expenses or losses against that income, except the amount spent to acquire them. So keep all this in mind while you're dealing with your digital assets. If you transfer virtual digital assets and the total amount is more than INR 50,000 in a year, you need to deduct TDS. This applies only if the person you are paying is a resident of India. The threshold limit of INR 50,000 applies to individuals or HUFs who have no income from business or profession or a business income of up to INR 1 crore or profession income of up to INR 50 lakhs. For others, the limit is INR 10,000. Whenever you transfer your virtual digital assets, the person making the payment needs to deduct TDS under Section 194S at a rate of 1%. This means they should pay 1% of the transfer amount to the government as tax. If the payment paid is partly in cash and partly in kind or exchanged for another VDA, the payer must deposit the TDS with the government before making the payment to you. If you sell cryptocurrency and someone deducts TDS in the INR equivalent out of payment, they have to give you a document called Form 16A. You can use this document to claim the tax back whenever you file your tax return. You can see how much tax was taken out in Form 26AS or AIS on the income tax website. Dealing with taxes on cryptocurrency can be confusing and time consuming. But don't worry, Tax Notes is here to help. We provide expert guidance and support for all your tax related needs, including TDS on crypto. For more information, mail us at care at the rate taxnotes.com. Thank you for watching.